Plant Food Federation, the place where plants and plates collide. I'm Ap Young, and if you are new to this channel, you are welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back. On this channel, we have conversations about plant-based eating, and I share recipes that you can make on your own at home in your kitchen. Now, before we jump into today's video, I have some exciting news to share. One of the questions that I get asked on a regular basis is, how do I start eating plant-based? And my response to that question is normally start as, as soon as your next food choice and as, as soon as your next plate of food. You know, push to the side or completely push off those animal products, those highly refined, highly processed products and fill your plate with whole and healthy fruits, vegetables, leafy greens, legumes, nuts and seeds. That should be the bulk of what you find on your plate. So I'm excited to announce that I have written a free ebook called The Plant-Based Day and The Plant-Based day is a full menu of plant-based recipes for breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and a snack. Because yes, you're going to want a snack during the course of the day, and you may as well make those snacks count. I will leave the link to the ebook down in the description box below, or you can head over to plantfoodfederation.com to download it from the website directly. I have also included a shopping list for you to help set you up for a day of success. Now, when I was transitioning to um, plant-based eating and transitioning to becoming vegan, one of the things that worked for me was picking a day of the week to just eat completely whole foods, plant-based, you know, whether it's a meatless Monday or a free from Friday. And so I encourage you to do the same. And even if you don't do it 100% full time, you know, try it for a day or two here, here or there and let me know how it goes. I love Buddha bowls because you can bring different ingredients together in a plate and you have a full meal and you can use whatever you have available to you. Now for this Buddha bowl, I wanted to make sure it had a lot of flavor. So obviously I've got a lot of spices. I wanted to use wild rice and black beans, some fresh basil picked from my garden and peppers, lots of different peppers. Now I'm gonna start by soaking my beans. I normally soak my beans for eight hours at least, or I soak them overnight. This allows the enzyme that coats them um, to be dissolved. And if you ever have problems with bloatedness or gas when you eat beans, definitely soak your beans. So once they've been soaked, I'm going to put them in a pan with some garlic, some shallots, and some salt. And I'm just going to add water to this and just cook them for about 30 to 40 minutes until they're tender. Now the next thing is just to chop the peppers. There are a lot of, there's a lot of chopping in this recipe. So I'm going to chop up all my peppers. I decided to use sort of a variety of color of bell peppers just to make this dish really vibrant in terms of whole pepper stir fry. Look at how amazing this is in the pan. So let's go ahead and plate this Buddha bowl. So first of all, I'm going to add the mixed wild rice. I just cooked it according to instructions. I'm then adding the black beans, which are now cooked through so they are tender. I'm adding our bell pepper stir fry. Now I really love this stir fry. There are so many other things you can do with it. You could add it to a wrap, for example. I'm adding the baked plantain. Now I almost forgot the plantains in the oven but they still turned out pretty well. I'm going to add some fresh chopped avocado to the dish to sort of really balance out the flavors, especially the heat. And I'm gonna add some fresh coriander leaves or cilantro leaves on top. And there you have it. This is our Nigerian inspired Buddha bowl. I also made a quick crema to tie this together. I forgot to film it, so I'll leave the recipe for it in the description box below. If you liked this video, Video, definitely give me a thumbs up. You can find the recipe in my free ebook on the website. Remember to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.